Hi everyone, this is Diane and I have my fifth and final Christmas journal ready to put in my shop. Um, final one for 2020. And this one is a very special one made with a, a Hummel Christmas Angels book. This image on the front is so pretty. So before I open it up, let me just explain about Hummels. I have seen Hummel figurines and images my whole life. I never really wondered um, about the artist or where they came from, but I picked up this somewhere and um, I used some of the pages in the other books that I'm making. But it has some information here and I thought you might be interested. The um, This is the artist. Her name is uh, Berta Hummel and she was Bavarian and she was a nun in the convent of Season in Germany and her her name there was Sister Maria Innocentia so that's where the M-I comes from Maria Innocentia and Hummel is her surname so these figurines were created from sketches that she had done and she supervised the clay models and the unusual pastel coloring. And today, M.I. Hummel figurines are considered genuine collector's items. People from all over the world collect these figurines. So that was interesting, and uh, I enjoyed learning about that. So this is a very big book. It's, or thick anyway, it's two and a half inches, and it's quite chunky. I'm not gonna tell you it will be easy to write in this book, but where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> I tied it up with this gold sheer ribbon. Um, this is the gorgeous image that was on the front. I put a little lace at the bottom. This pretty fabric and some rickrack and some lace on the spine. And I covered up the barcode with a couple pieces of crochet. There's another image on the back. Three signatures. Um, I think there are 44 pages in each signature. I left on the original gold tone um, end papers and I added this gold edged label. Put on some uh, <clears throat> gimp that I just got in Happy Mail. <laughs> I didn't even put it away. It was on my table and it was the right color and the right length. So I used that. This is the same image, of course, that you see on the front here. And the beginning of each signature starts with one of these pages. It's actually a um, folio page, so it's going to be uh, wrapped around the front and the back of the signature. And I did a collage on each one. There's vintage wallpaper, gold doily, and some straw paper, and some vintage music. It's actually from a Christmas Carol book, but you wouldn't know that because there's not enough of it there for you to tell. So the pages have some beautiful Hummel images. So this is what I mean about maybe being difficult to write in because it's just so thick, but I would be able to write in it. I would make it happen. And you can glue stuff into it, but it would make it even thicker. There, um, for the stamping, I just used some blue ink and a variety of snowflake stamps that I have. With some lace on the edge here. This is coffee dyed paper. There's another snowflake. This is just an image I found on Pinterest and I put it on some copper metallic cardstock. And then I just added a little decorative piece up here. It's a little strip of cardstock that I wrapped around and added a little bit of tatting and a button. And I put a Christmas recipe card inside. A little piece of gold trim on that side. This is um, computer stationery, Christmas stationery. I did a little bit of stenciling. A Christmas doily. I had some leftover printable sheets, so this got included. I'm not sure which kit that came from. Uh, I stamped my Tim Holtz fragments stamps on some of the pages. And I used a cutoff piece to make a little tuck spot and I put an eyelet on it and a bulb pin and this snowflake 
charm. This is a copy, printable, of one of my vintage or my antique um, postcards. And I used the last of my stained glass, vintage stained glass book pages in here. This is just a piece of ledger paper. I made a little tuck spot with a scrap of paper and a ribbon stamped on this little tag. I didn't want to cover up the 25 on this, so I, I put the pocket up in the middle of the page and added a journaling card from Mrs. Cog. And this is a little tiny Christmas Carol page out of a, an ornament that I had that I took apart. And I wrapped this piece. This is a printable. I think that might be from Gail Agostinelli from Cinnamon Tea. I am not sure if that's one of hers, but it might be. I just wrapped it around. And then I took this um, chickadee card that I also just got in Happy Mail. And I sewed it to this piece of canvas that you can write on. Stamp a little snowflake in the corner. There's a current fold of note. And some wrapping paper. This is from a vintage Christmas card. I sewed it on, or glued it on as a pocket and added some rickrack. And this is a, I'm not sure what it was for. I think I got this in a Happy Mail, but you can write in that. And there's a gift, gift um, tag. This is a vintage Christmas gift sack. It's got the red and green strings that you could pull to gather it up. Um, I glued it on as a pocket and I made this tag with some cardstock and a Mrs. Cog image and seam binding. And this pocket is glued to the Christmas Carol page. Now this string is, you know, it, it's woven through so you just have to be careful like pull it away when you put this in so the corners of the tag don't get caught in that string. There's a, another little image that I got from the internet of some children and this this reminds me of Hummel uh, images because a lot of them are outdoors in nature. There's a December calendar page this is another of my antique Christmas cards. This is just the printable. I have them in my shop. And I um, made this tag along. Oops, I gotta cover that up. I'll leave it out so I remember. I had this in one of my old, in my um, December daily that I took apart. And I forgot I wrote on the back of it. It's just uh, recipes I wanted to try that year that were new. <coughs> And I glued this piece of lace on as a pocket and made this little page that you can write on. This is all one piece. And I collaged on a pocket here. And made a card with one of the images from this book, um, I didn't want to cover up both sides, so there was writing at the bottom, so I just added a um, vintage Rolodex card to the bottom that you can write on, and then included this vintage um, Christmas card. It's got the original cord on it, and you can write in there. There's lots of room to write on it, and it's got a greeting in there, and it was signed. It's pretty old. I don't have a date for it. I did a collage here with some of the stamping and vintage wallpaper again. And a fabric flip. And this is from a old, it was some kind of a date book. Maybe it was for writing birthdays, but it had a quote on it for each day and then some lines. And so these are December pages or dates. So I put that in there. There's some more stamped snowflakes there. And again I took a cardinal card and sewed it to the canvas. Here's the next signature cover. 
this is wallpaper here and the colors went really nice with that angel's outfit in this pocket there is a folder that you can write on there's some stamping behind that piece another antique Christmas card I hope you will spend a jolly Christmas and that it will last until next Christmas. And it is written on, somebody did some math on it, and this is dated 1913. Here's another snowflake charm. Um, this is... Um, a piece of linen that I have and I just made a copy of it and wrapped it around and there's a copy of one of my antique postcards and in here is a Mrs. Cog image and I just glued it to a paper that was tall and just folded that flap down it just gives you a little extra writing space and there's a um, Christmas stamp on there that's a really pretty image on this fold note card. Here's another of the Christmas um, gift sacks. And I put this Christmas card or postcard image onto a layaway tag. I'll tuck that in there. Another calendar page. This is a coaster another antique postcard image and this little ornament pick that up at a flea market I believe a fabric flip with some pretty blue lace and some silver um, rickrack this pretty lace piece and this is just a, a vintage some sort of a record page. This is from another calendar. I cut this into the shape of a tag on some white cardstock and stenciled on it and then I added this piece of the fabric that I have been using this year. It was sewn or ironed to some stitch witchery so, of course, I didn't iron that to anything. I didn't do that. It, it came that way. It was all cut. All the pieces were cut and ironed to stitch witchery so it could be ironed onto something. And then it was never used. And I got it in a bundle from my friend Leslie's shop. Um, the Vintage Paper Emporium is her shop on Etsy. Here's another piece of vintage wallpaper. I got this a whole roll of that at a flea market not too long ago. Did some stamping and stenciling or um, collaging here. There's a piece of lace there and an image from the book. I backed it with the fly leaf from this book and then added this really pretty piece of lace. I love the way that color blends right into this. I believe I got that piece of lace from Perio. Correct me if I'm wrong, Perio, but I think that's I think you're the one that sent that to me. You sent me quite a bit of it. Here's another image from Pinterest and another one of those cards that you can write on. And here is the last signature cover with uh, vintage wallpaper and gold doily. Love this image with a little boy and the dog and the snow scene and animals. It's just a really nice scene. And this is a really cool piece of old lace and a clear button with the original old thread still in it. This came out of a magazine. I backed it with copy dyed paper. I think it came out of a Somerset magazine. There's some stamping there. 
There's a pretty angel on that page. This one I made a double pocket on this tuck spot. And this came out of a book. I just sewed it to some straw paper. And this is a vintage gift tag. I love it. Love that church image. And this is from an old ideals book. I reinforced it in, at the fold. There's a beautiful piece of lace here as a pocket. And another image from this book with some filet crochet as a tab. Another fabric flip and a greeting card in the middle. I didn't have any more Christmas fold notes, so I used this card, which I think looks nice with the Hummel look. And I didn't have another um, Christmassy or snowy Hummel calendar page, so I took this from a different calendar. It's just a snow scene. And you can use the spaces on the back for writing. I glued on a piece of fabric. Christmas fabric and then another piece of the fabric that was um, ironed onto the stitch witchery. And this is a piece of wrapping paper and this is from a Christmas Carol book and I added this gold sack that I glued a Mrs. Cog's image to and a little piece of wallpaper. And on the back of this is a Tim Holtz ticket that you can write on. This stuff is glued to the back side of that greeting card, that Christmas card. So this is space you can journal on, and you can also journal on this. This is a print, a copy of an uh, antique uh, vintage linen that I have. And another tag that I made with the calendar page. It's the same, This the page, um, both of the tags are made from the same page and the same page came from that same calendar with the winter scene on it. I think I had too many words in that sentence, but hopefully you got it. It's another snippet of that same piece of lace too. And here is another scrap of a printable linen I made that into the pocket and then I added this really vintage gift tag. It said Merry Christmas to Dale Jackson. Happy New Year from LB Jewett, 1943. And on the back cover I just decorated this um, library pocket with this gorgeous image that I found on Pinterest a few years ago and some scrapbook paper and I just tucked in a printable library pocket library card so this will be listed as Hummel Christmas Angels Journal in my Etsy shop when this video is up, this will be in my shop. So you can just go right to the link and go to my shop. The link is in the description of this video. So just click on that link and it'll take you to my shop and you can find this journal there unless somebody beat you to it. Um, if you like the Hummels and you miss out on this journal, um, I am working on two more Hummel journals, but they're not Christmas. They're not Christmas journals and they will be smaller. I'm going to keep these to a two inch spine. But I love the images. These came from my Hubble calendars. 
So I've got a pretty good start on them. And hopefully I'll do a little bit more today on these. So thanks for watching. Um, I would have really appreciated if you would leave a comment and give me a thumbs up to help my channel out so that I get um, suggested to more people. That would help me out a lot and I would really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.